It looks like the African American story in North Carolina will have its own place on the Capitol grounds in Raleigh. The monument will also sit among some of the darker periods of the state's history. Russ Bowen reports. Whether a visitor or a local taking a moment to have lunch, the historic state capitol building and Union Square are the centerpiece of downtown Raleigh. They have been since the building was completed in 1840. Monuments scattered along the lawn represent the sacrifice that people of the state have made in foreign wars, as well as the war that divided the nation. Looking at these monuments around the Capitol now, you think that the only time that mattered uh, was a period uh, during and immediately after the Civil War, uh, because Civil War monuments dominate the Capitol grounds. But that is likely to soon change. There is bipartisan support to spend $2.5 million on a monument that represents the African American experience in North Carolina. I think it's a wonderful idea that we find you got a monument to recognize our efforts and our hard works in the community. Like the other monuments on Union Square, it will be bronze and granite. It will depict slavery, discrimination, and achievement. State Senate Democratic leader Dan Blue. And so I think that you need to have some balance as to what was going on in North Carolina with uh, uh, black people's contributions to the development of this state, uh, to the settlement of this state. Artists will compete for the final design and it will sit on the southeast corner. At least in the interest of balance, it seems reasonable that you'd have the other. Uh, but also, there's not really a message of hate or bigotry behind it, so that makes it seem even more reasonable.